These delicate, sugary pastries before your eyes are far more than the indulgent treats that soothe the soul and stretch waistbands. They are a part of American history. It all started in 1917 when World War I was raging on and showed little sign of slowing down. The Allies and Central Powers were battling for control of Europe. Men on all sides were feeling the effects of homesickness and yearned to leave. On the front lines, the Salvation Army had built hostels and service centers near the troops to support them throughout the struggle. Evangeline Booth, General of the Salvation Army, had different ideas about what could be accomplished. Miss Booth sent over a small group of female officers to see what could be done in this homesickness epidemic. Helen Perviance and Margaret Sheldon, leaders of this group, thought that home cooking was a good place to start. The only supplies available locally in the area were flour, sugar, lard, baking powder, cinnamon, and canned milk. Key ingredients necessary for the making of fried pastries. The soldiers cheered for the donuts and soon referred to Salvation Army officers as donut lassies as they stood in lines before the hut. The primitive donuts of the early 1900s were nothing like they are today. They could be cooked seven at a time on a small frying pan. Slowly, as more tools became available, the style in which donuts were being made was transformed. Craving the delectable pastry when home, soldiers requested donuts in America, and they were a hit. By 1937, they had even received their own day. June 7th, to be specific, National Donut Day was created by the Salvation Army during the Great Depression in order to raise funds and bring awareness to the charity's social service programs. 